Hello, everybody, and welcome to session 15 of our data visualization class. This is the last session. You made it. Congratulations. Um, hopefully, this has been an exciting experience. You've learned a ton. Um, I threw a lot at you. Um, but if you can remember back to the very beginning of this course, back in session one, many of you had never even touched R or even heard of R. And now, um, based on the, the problem sets and the exercises and assignments that I'm seeing, um, you're doing amazing work. Um, and you're making stuff and you're making beautiful things and telling truthful stories with, with graphics and with data, um, which was the whole goal of this class. I think you did it. Um, so you should feel proud of yourselves for doing this. Um, so today, we're not covering any new ground with R. We're not covering anything specifically with like new data visualization principles or anything. What we're going to do is revisit um, the discussion we had at the beginning about the relationship between truth and beauty um, and kind of do a brief overview of why you should care about this and how you can continue to do this stuff um, in the future and how you can, you can continue to communicate data um, and continue to learn R and become even better at, at these new skills that you found. And so if we go over to the slides, we can see what our plan is for today. Um, we just have two sections. Um, we'll first talk about um, the importance of telling stories with data. Um, and again, this is a very um, in-depth topic, you can actually take an entire class about storytelling with data. Um, if you go to my um, personal website and click on the teaching link, um, you can actually see a course that I taught um, in, at uh, Brigham Young University at BYU. Um, you can access all the course materials there. there. There's no videos or anything. Um, it was pre-COVID and so nothing was online. Um, but you can see all of the different materials and learn how to tell stories effectively um, as a science communicator. Um, and then we'll talk about the principle of curiosity and why this is important to continue to develop the skills that you've been learning in this class. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 